Hi and welcome to Histograms Interpreting. Uh, just before we start here, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so the first question uh, gives us a fully, a fully formed histogram um, and it's a histogram which summarises a health score for a group of people. And we've been asked to estimate the fraction of the group who had a score of 45 or more. Now, the first thing here is if we're dealing with a fraction, we need to know what the total is. And so, as you'll uh, remember from the previous video on uh, drawing histograms, the frequency is based on the area of that bar. And so, what we're going to have to do first is find the area of each bar in order that we can find the total frequency. And so, the first bar has a width of 30 and a height of 0 0.2. And so, we're going to have 30 times 0 0.2, so that is 6. So our first group has 6 people in it. The next is a width of 10 with a height of 0 0.3, and therefore we have 3 people in the next bar. The next group is a width of 10 but a height of 0 0.8, and so that is 8 people. And the next group has a width of 20, a height of 0 0.5. And so 20 times 0 0.5 is 10. And the final group has a width of 30 and a height of 0 0.1, meaning we have three people. Now, what we can tell from this is the total number of people who were involved in that survey. And so we have 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 8 is 17, 27, 30 people. Now, what you may also notice here is that if we look at the bars, the bar which had three people in at the very end, it actually included three squares. And so what it's telling us is actually in this histogram, each of these little squares is one person. And so we could uh, think of it like that when we come to uh, finding the fraction, because what it said is the fraction of the group had a score of 45 or more. So where do we have people scoring 45 or more. Well, we definitely have this section because they scored 50 to 70, and we definitely have this section as they got 70 to 80, so that is 13 people. But then 45 is actually halfway through this bar, and because this uh, that is the reason for the word estimate, what we're assuming is that between 40 and 50 people were equally distributed and evenly distributed and so actually this line here beyond 45 that this is exactly half of the people who were in that group and so we are dealing with 10 people and 3 people and then 4 people half of this group and so that is 17 people and so our fraction that we would estimate would be 17 out of 30 who scored more than 45. So next we're looking at a histogram which is showing some information about the ages of 134 members of a sports club. 20% of the members of the sports club who are over 50 years of age are female. Work out an estimate for the number of female members who are over 50 years of age. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to find 50 on our uh, on our diagram. Now 50 is actually again it's halfway through this section so we need to make an assumption that if I were to draw a line in here that those between 50 and 60 would be exactly the same number of people as between 40 and 50. So what I need is the area of this bar and so that is a width of 10 because it's from 50 to 60, and it is a height of 1.4, and so that is 14 people. The next section, from 60 to 90, well that is a width of 30, and it has a height of 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and so if you multiply that, that is 21. And so, we are saying that the total number of people who are over 50 is going to be 35. Now that is 35 people who are over 50. 
but the question was about the number of women who were over 50 and that is 20% of those who were over 50. And so the last little stage here is that we need to find 20% of 35. And if we do that quickly, well, 10% would be 3.5. And so 20% will be double that. It will be seven. So seven females over 50. But we just have to say here, the fact that you have been asked about an estimate means that we are assuming that everyone is evenly distributed within the groups. And so we end with the exam question. And this came from the Edexcel paper in November 2018, and it was on higher paper three. And it says that the table shows information about the distances 570 students traveled to a university open day. We need to draw a histogram for the information in the table. So as we need to draw the histogram, the first thing we need to do here is we need to add in our extra columns for our frequency density and our width. And we also, um, we want to make sure that we can then draw that onto the graph. So we've got our group width, we have our frequency density. And so the width in the first case is from zero to 20, which is a width of 20, 20 to 50, which is a width of 30, 50 to 80, which is a width of 30, 80 to 50, which is a width of 70, and 150 to 200, which is a width of 50. And then what we need to do is divide our frequency by that group width in order to find the frequency density. So 120 divided by 20 is six, 90 divided by 30, three, 120 to, uh, divided by 30 is four, 140 divided by 70 is two, and 100 divided by 50 is also two. And so if we have a look at the scale here, it's currently blank for frequency density, but we can uh, quite simply, we know it has to go up to six, so it would appear that we're just going to go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And actually we can go a little bit further up to seven and eight, but they're not going to be needed in this case. And so then we need to draw the actual diagram. And so with our, uh, with our first group, it went from zero to 20. And so we just need to check our little uh, spacing here. That will be four squares across. That's a circle. So from uh, zero to 20, four squares across, and that needs to go up to a value of six. And then our next bar would be from um, 20 to 50, but that one needs to go to a height of three. Next, we want to go from 50 to 80, so that's six squares across, and that needs a height of and then from 80 to 150 with a height of 2 and then from 150 to 200 again with a height of 2 and we've completed our histogram now the main part of this question though is to estimate the median distance now you could do this from the original table, but if this was a case where the uh, where you only had the histogram, how would you find the median? Well, the key is knowing how many people were involved in total. We were told it was 570 students. So because we are estimating the median, well, I can just half this number to find where the midpoint of it is. And the midpoint would therefore be 285 or the 285th person. Now, what I would need to do here is if this was just using the, um, using the diagram, I would need to find the area of each bar. But I already know this, that's 120, and this one is 90. So, so far, I have used 210 people. The next group is 120 again. And that takes me up to um, 330 and so I've gone beyond the 285th person. The 285th person must be within this group. Now the question is how far into the group are they? Well we had 210 people at the start of the group 
and we wanted the 85th, uh, 285th. And so it is the 75th person in the group 50 to 80. And there were 120 people in that group. And so in order to make an estimate of where the median actually is, we need to make a fraction. It's 75 out of 120 people. And then I'm going to multiply that by the group width. So I can see what proportion of the group I am dealing with. And the group width was 30. And so all I'm going to do is type that into a calculator. 75 over 120. And I'm going to multiply it by 30. It gives me 18.75. Now this is actually a distance. It's 18.75 miles. And we are 18.75 miles into that group. And so in order to find where I'm actually looking at, I need to add it on to the 50, which was the starting point. And so my estimate would be 50 plus 18.75. I would estimate that the median was at 68.75 miles. We are dealing with proportions. And again, we're assuming that everybody was evenly distributed in each of the groups in order to find our median.